how good of a recruiting class they have. Miami has a good recruiting class every single year. Matter of fact, I will say that our returning starters might be better than the Miami five-star recruits that they got from the portal and from high school. That's for real. Tyler Ving Dyke did not understand the rules of the game. Who takes a three-step drop on a spike? Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Waste Bro. That's winning at stressful times every time. And this time, we got Miami Hurricanes versus the Florida State Seminoles. Let's get it, baby. That's my chimney. <laughs> Listen up, man. When Florida State and Miami play late, late, I, I believe, October, November, that game will be a ranked game between two undefeated teams. Yes, I just said it. Miami and Florida State will be playing for a trip to the college football playoffs. That's going to be the game of the year. That game is going to revive Florida State and Miami's rivalry back to number one where it deserves to be. A lot of people agree that Miami Hurricane has an easy schedule this year. A lot of people agree that the Florida State Seminoles post are supposed to be going to the college football playoffs. So what does that mean? Two rival schools, in my opinion, the best rival in all of college football, maybe besides Army and Navy, is Miami Hurricanes and Florida State. Actually, I would put us at number one because a lot of schools actually measure their rivalry success based on Florida State's and Miami's, based on what we were doing. Because every game was almost a national championship game. Now, fast forward, 2023. We've played almost, what, 60, 70 games together? Florida State and Miami? This is going to be the year. And for Florida State, let me tell you guys something, right? We cannot let those canes come in our house and beat us. We cannot do it. The last time Miami and Florida State played, when we were at home, it was a fourth and 14. And I was scratching my head that whole game. This was the hat I actually had on. I threw this hat on the ground a couple of times because I was upset that we would let those canes come in our house and beat us. But it didn't happen that way. Jordan Travis connected to the wide open wide receiver. I forgot his name. My bad, my bad, my bad. Connected to him. We won the game by three points. Because Tyler Ving Dyke did not understand the rules of the game. Who takes a three-step drop on a spike? That's that's football one-on-one. -on -one. We learned that when I was back in Fort when I offered in my 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 hood. I learned that back when I was younger playing street ball. If you're gonna spike the ball, you 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 catch the ball, you spike the ball. That's all you got to do. But listen, man, enough, enough of that. Enough of the past. Let's talk about the future. Miami and Florida State. Guys, let me tell you something, right? We cannot let, we cannot let them beat us. We cannot let those Kings come to our house and beat us. I don't care how good of a recruiting class they have. Miami has a good recruiting class every single year. Matter of fact, I will say that our returning starters might be better than the Miami five-star recruits that they got from the portal and from high school. That's for real. So we can't let these guys come and beat us. Another thing, right? This is a very hot take. Very. This is a very unpopular take that I'm about to say right now. Y'all know Florida State quarterback, Jordan Travis. Everybody love him. But you know who I love? I love that Tate Rob maker. Boy, I love me some Tate Rob. Boy, let me tell you something. If Jordan Travis have a bad quarter, a two bad quarters versus LSU, Mike Norvell needs to pull the plug and put in Tate immediately. Immediately. Don't wait. Put in Tate. Don't wait. You got to put him in. That's the same thing versus Miami. Last year, Jordan Travis threw three or four bad balls, but Miami had a bad offense. Their offense was terrible. Tyler Van Dyke was hurt. So imagine if Miami would have had a decent squad last year. Those turnovers, those bad passes that Jordan Travis did could have been catastrophic. But it wasn't because Florida State, we were just too good last year. I mean, but this year, it's a different ball game. 
We cannot let those guys come inside our home. 